Here we are looking at part C of question 2 from the January 2025 CSEC Mathematics Pass paper. It says that Lisa has $56 <coughs> to buy a total of no more than 70 red balloons and green balloons for her party. She buys more green balloons than red balloons but must buy at least 15 red balloons. Each red balloon costs, zero, costs 75 cents and each green balloon costs 50 cents. Let X and Y represent the number of red balloons and number of green balloons respectively. So why didn't they just say let R and G represent them? That would be much easier to remember. But anyway, X is red, Y is green balloon. Write two inequalities in X and Y other than X is greater than or equal to 0 and Y is greater than or equal to 0 to represent the information above. Alright, so remember, you should make a genuine attempt at all these questions before watching the video. Alright? Okay. So, write two inequalities. Well, we just write more than two if we see. More than two can be generated. Okay, so she buy more green than red. Alright, so what is it? X or red in more green than red. That means Y is green. So Y is greater than X. So Y is greater than X. So the number of green is greater than number of red all right they say but she must buy at least 15 red balloons at least 15 red red is what x so you can say <coughs> that x is greater than or equal to 15 x is the number of red balloon she must buy at least red ball at least 15 red balloons that means 15 or more red balloons so x is greater than or equal to 15 all right they give the cost of each balloon they say she has 56 dollars to buy no more than 30 red balloon so no more than 30 red balloon so x must be not more than 30 must be less than 30 well 30 is no more than 30 so it can be less than or equal to 30 right oh 70 no more than 70 red balloon so it's 70 not 30 all right that means 70 or less and uh, oh the total number of balloons okay let's see no more than 70 red balloon and green balloon why didn't just they just say no more than 70 balloon all right I saw this 70 red balloons, so I was looking for how many green balloons here. Alright, so X plus Y. The total number of balloons should be less than or equal to 70. Alright? No more than 70. $56. Alright. Now, the cost of the red balloon is equal to the money the amount of money for each red balloon multiplied by the number of red balloon plus the amount of money for each green balloon multiplied by the number of green balloons must be less than or equal to 
56 dollars <coughs> so she has only 56 dollars so she can cannot spend more than that she can't spend the 56 dollars or less but not more all right so we have that information there okay so we have our two inequalities what else is there now okay oh that's that so we have a different question now uh, they were going to ask us to calculate something or so all right so let me just erase what i have here is this so given that y is inverse proportional to x minus 2 and the x equal 1 when y equal 9 find the value of y when x equals 29 oh all right um i'll just do this in another video so we'll look at it in the next video